single member or multi-member LLC in South Carolina? What's the difference? Stick around and make it so simple you'll know immediately which one you want to be and which one you are. All right, single member, it is what it seems. There's no tricks to it. A single member is just one member in the LLC. So if I own this LLC outright 100%, just by, I'm a single member. It is what it is. If anyone else owns any other membership interests, you own 1% or 99%, whatever it is. If there are two people listed who own it, you are a multi-member LLC. The multi-member LLC is, you know, uh, going to be a little bit more complicated in the sense that you will need to go through an operating agreement and decide with your co-owner like what happens if someone gets you know disabled or dies or they want to quit or leave how do you buy someone out is there going to be capital calls and how do you make decisions so the multi-member you can utilize you know multiple people's skill sets potentially more money coming into it, but there are more things to do on the front end. So we recommend if you have a multi-member uh, LLC to use a lawyer to set up your operating agreement, walk you through all these decisions you need to make. If you can't afford a lawyer right now, go to draftedlegal.com, use, uh, use the LLC, and that operating agreement will walk you through the main things that you need to address. And just make sure you don't ignore them. Uh, have the conversation on the front and it'll be very helpful. If you're a single member, it's obviously a lot, uh, a lot more uh, simple because you make all the decisions. So we don't need to spend as much time on the operating agreement. You just put 100% your name uh, and move on it and then come back to it if you add more members. So that's it, single member, one member LLC, anything more, multi-member, two or more, multi-member LLC. Hope that's helpful. Drop comments below if you have any questions.